Hey everybody, it's time for news. Welcome to another episode of the GC Informer. I'm your host Mark, also known as Koistorch. I'm a little under the weather today, so I apologise in advance if this video isn't as heavily edited as others. First up, it's a sad day for Nintendo Miiverse fans as the service has finally been shut down. While I didn't use the feature much, it was a fun interactive forum of mostly safer work discussions and fan arts. While the Miiverse has somewhat shifted to Twitter and other social media sites thanks to the Switch's screen capture features, the actual Miiverse forums will be missed. Nintendo knew this and have made a touching send-off mural collage type thing fusing a bunch of posts together. Next, Grand Theft Auto V has broken yet another record. GTA V is now the best-selling game of all time in the US. This status includes microtransactions as well as actual sales numbers, and it's a very impressive feat. GTA Online brought new life into the game and it's been steadily going from strength to strength. I've never actually played GTA V, but I can definitely appreciate it for what it's done. Hopefully we'll see something similar come out for Red Dead Redemption. Hopefully we'll see something similar come out for Red Dead Redemption 2 with a strong player base and continuous support from the devs. Next we have a few cryptic hints for the future of Square Enix. During the latest Square Enix earnings briefing, they detailed their attitude towards Nintendo and the future of the Switch. They said that the Switch's core architecture is similar to the PS4 and Xbox One. Some adjustments are necessary, but multi-platform games aren't impossible. They thought that the Switch's momentum is very strong, and its position is very unique compared to the PS4 and Xbox One. When considering games for the Switch, they said that they wouldn't rule out any IPs, and those included new ones, currently active ones, and currently inactive ones. So we might see revivals or remasters, which would be pretty neat. Square Enix also has plans to launch some major global titles for the next fiscal year, and are already planning something for E3 2018 using terms to describe the game announcements as sharp, powerful, and well-made. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get more confirmation on Kingdom Hearts 3, which is launching sometime next year, and the long-dormant, long-awaited Final Fantasy VII Remake, which we aren't really sure if it's episodic or not. Uh... Lastly, we have the latest news from Xenoblade Chronicles 2, courtesy of the latest Nintendo Direct. While the game is only a few weeks away, Nintendo wanted to give a brief overview of its gameplay mechanics and world. During the presentation, viewers were treated to a new trailer and a season pass announcement. The trailer was an interesting point, as up until now, not very much was known about the story, and that was one of the game's strengths, as you don't want anything to be spoiled in a grand JRPG like this. However, during this trailer, it may have shown too much as the main plot and character motivations were outlined, and towards the end of the trailer, a twist was revealed, which I'm hoping was only very minor in the grand scheme of things. A season pass was also detailed with almost a year of new content being planned. This content includes new items, quests, blades, modes, and even a story expansion. Along with this announcement, Nintendo confirmed there would be a dual audio patch day one and a crossover DLC quest in Breath of the Wild where you can dress up Link. And to be honest, Link looks kind of weird in that clothing. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know what you thought of the news in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye! ありがとう。さよ